Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I am going to make this video about tips to help you shoot photos and video virtually at the same time. Not exactly at the same time, but I'm talking about using your same cameras and same lenses to be able to produce photographs, but also a video of the day. I think that if you're watching this, you're either a bride that met me somewhere and wants to see what I'm all about, or you're somebody seasoned and just wants to see how somebody else does things. I often watch other people do their thing to so that maybe I could learn. Or maybe you were like me when I first started and you're brand new and you're trying to figure things out, which cameras to buy, like everything. Or you just want to see what it's all about, right? So this is me doing what I'm doing. There's a lot of photographers out there that do what they do and get paid a lot for what they do. And honestly, I think a lot of you can do this. I am a very technical shooter, I think, of myself that way. But uh, there's more to it than that, of course. But you can definitely do this. This is a fun, fun career. And it can be very, very profitable. Um, listen to your church coordinators uh, they give you good tips sometimes they're not quite so nice but this one is really nice she's telling me where is the best angle which I would have figured out but thank you tip number one most everything you take photos of also take video of all right so if you take photo of a candle or this or that or somebody standing there as be you know b-roll just take a photo of it too so tip number two is use 60 frames per second uh, for all your handheld video. You don't want to have to slow down all the footage for all the video though. So when I say use 60 frames per second, it's so that if you are shaky, you can slow it down. But try your best to have a steady hand. If you have stabilized lenses, then it shouldn't be a problem. But let the action move around you. Your arms are not like gimbals, right? So keep steady, let the action move around you, and that way you don't have to slow it down. Not all the time. Sometimes it's good to slow it down. It looks nice. So tip number three is have your photo and video settings dialed in before they do anything, like walk down the aisle. So when they're walking down the aisle you'll want to have it set up so that you can immediately switch from photo to video seamlessly look right there i'm doing video switch over to photos bam 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 they're all dialed in already so that i don't waste time because you have no time they are walking you know you will miss it something you could do if you're brand new is uh, maybe have a tripod. I'll go more more into that later. Tip number four, all you need is three to five seconds videos, okay? But you need a variety of them. You see how I'm switching from photo to video? It's just, you need a variety. To make a video happen, you need a lot of options. And you're not gonna use all these, okay? But look, little video right there, literally th two seconds of that. You might use it, you might not, but you need a variety, so get a lot. If you're nervous about having handheld the whole time and you're doing your first hybrid photo video job, I get it. There are some moments that don't last three seconds, let alone five seconds, right? Where you need to take video of it and photos, like the kiss. Sometimes it's like so brief and you will miss it if you're doing it with just one camera. So my tip number five is for moments like that, I suggest having a small, lightweight, travel tripod with an extra camera on it down the aisle of things like that like the kiss you don't want to miss that so if you put that down you'll be assured that you're gonna get it and you know you're not gonna miss it and it's not gonna be that cumbersome you only need it for certain parts of the day just put it down get that shot put it away this is a good tip but uh, you know this is just a good tip move around more often for variety that goes for anything really if you ever seen any of my videos i move around a lot and every time i move around and i end up somewhere 
I take photos of what is in direct line of sight of that spot that I landed on. Left, right, down the middle, somewhere in between. Try to get shots of everything. And again, I'll stress this part again, variety. Just get a bunch of variety, both photos and video. And every time you move, just get your settings dialed in for both and you're good to go. Let me talk briefly about which gear I'm using. I'm using two Nikon Z6 IIs, okay? And I don't have a camera on a tripod because I wasn't supposed to be doing hybrid video today. It just kind of happened. And so I'm not using the tripod, but I, I did get the kiss shot. So, you know, rest assured. But I'm using the 70 to 200. The shutter speed, I have it pretty low, but not that low. It's kind of bright in here, so that's good and I'm using the 35 mil lens. Those are such good lenses to have. People will tell you you don't need the 70 to 200 and you don't, but with it, you get such variety, man. Tip number six, yes, you can slow down your footage to make the video appear steadier, but do you really want to slow everything down? We already, I already covered that, so I'm gonna talk about it a little bit more. If you did a whole video with it in slow motion, it just would not look good. You moving the camera isn't going to look good either. So my tip is to have the camera steady and let the people around you move. So there's movement in the video, but it's not coming from the camera, you get me? Tip number six continued is learn to hold your camera steady. Use a camera strap to brace yourself if you need that. I feel like I don't really need that because I have my, my, my stabilized lenses and the Nikon Z6 II has such good stabilization that I really do not need it. Exactly. Yeah, right, I remember. Okay, okay just... Face me a little bit, turn towards me, both of you, like that. Let me put this down. It's a pretty dress. Mm, I like your veil, it's nice and light. My mom made it. Oh, she made it? Jesus. <laughs> It's pretty I impressive. Know, right? Wow. Usted puede poner su mano en su brazo así. Ajá. Y igual acá. Okay. That's good. Deme un momento. Eso es de mentiras. Muy bien. A las tres quiero un abrazo grande, ¿ok? Una. A, a, a la persona enfrente de usted. Una, dos, tres. Todos abrazos. There we go. Perfect. Una más. Así que quédense abrazando. Good. Okay. So for tip number seven is don't take video of people posing. You know, that's boring. What are you going to do with that? Just uh, have them hug at the same time or something else to take video of that. Give me a funny one, hug, look at your favorite bridesmaid, look at the one that's gonna get drunk tonight. That doesn't really work right here because we're at church. You shouldn't be doing a funny one or, or talking about people being drunk at church, probably, right? but you can do that at the park or something. The point is you want to be able to take video of them when they are moving, not when they're standing still. If you're standing still, meaning there's no movement to your camera and there's no movement to the subjects, then that's a really, really boring video. And then look at her, look how pretty she is. Diana, look at me. And then do the opposite, yeah? Perfect. Let's do one holding hands like this. Perfect. You're good. Perfect. You're good where you are. Take a little bit this way, right there. You're so good. You're taking the best picture. Good. Look at each other. Smile. Maybe lift up your hand and kiss it, you know, see? Un besito. Pero déjalo ir primero y luego scoop it up. Así. Así. There we go. 
Diana, look at me. Namas, okay? So right now we're doing portraits, okay? So you don't really have to worry about the buffer too much because the couple can wait a few seconds. But if you're doing something like the walking down the aisle or something and your buffer, your memory cards aren't fast enough or something like that, then I suggest doing a video clip first because video, at least on the Nikons, writes to just one memory card. And photos, I have it set up so that it writes onto two and sometimes it, it buffers, it takes longer. Uh, so I suggest doing the video first, three seconds, and then take photos. But for me, I have really fast memory cards on in my camera, so I'm able to take photos first and then video second, and it works out really great. Yeah, I'll tell you what in a second. Let me just set this up. Some sun coming through. The only hard part is when the sun comes into my lens, so we're good right there. It's just that I'm blind, hold on. The sun went into my eyes. All right, right there. Good, look at each other, smile. All right, we're gonna do this real quick. Okay? All right, we're gonna do this real quick, okay? Yeah. So, hold on, cause it's cold too, right? <laughs> All right, let's do this for the for a little bit for the videos first. So look at me first. Look at each other. Good. Look at me now, both of you. Perfect. Look at her, dude. Give her a kiss on the cheek right there. You give him a kiss on the cheek now. Look at me, dude. Perfect. All right, let's... Turn towards each other a little bit. Just for the first shot. Okay, see? Nice and warm. Yeah, let's let's hold it for one. Actually, you hold it for her. So you, maybe if you... Hold it until it's time for the photo. Yeah, yeah. Just hold each other. You're gonna hold the flowers for her. All right, give me a second, okay? Let's see, yeah. Good. Show me the love. Look at each other. You can let go of the veil, I think. Perfect. Look over here. Yeah. Perfect. Let's do this. Uh, let's put the flowers down. Okay. okay. Uh, so this was a very small wedding for me, okay? This is literally on the side of the road here, man. That's my car parked. And so tip number nine is have extra batteries because video eats up batteries. Have them on you, not in your car. I usually have them on me. I realized I didn't, so I went to go get them. So this is a very quick photo session we're doing here because we need to get to the reception. And the reception is only a couple hours for me, so it's not like really difficult. But I am doing my best here to get photos and video super quickly, man, like fast. And I think I did a good job because I got a ton of footage and I got it really quickly all in this one spot. Why here? Because this is where the sun is peeking through the greenery. There you go. And then bring it over here. All the way through, and then like I see, like right there, get close together. All the way close together. Okay, hold on. Okay, hold on. Mm -hmm. First, a little video. So, look at me first, both of you. Good, like that. Ooh, the wind. Okay, look at me. Good, right there. Look at each other. Go for a kiss. Oh my gosh, this looks dreamy. Okay, let's do some pictures. Look at me, both of you. Ooh, wait up. Let's wait a little bit, hold on. <laughs> Maybe this is nice right here. Hold on, let's bring it a little this way. Right there, the wind died down. All right, look at each other. Kiss her, kiss her in the cheek right there. Diana, look over here, this way. 
like that, yeah. You kiss him on the cheek now? Look at me, Walter, because you love her kisses. <laughs> you love him, you love him. Oh, these are good. Put your... For one shot, like this, I... I... You got it? Yeah. Okay. Right there, okay. So put your ring, your, your hand, on his chest. It's okay, one more. Just put, let me get a close-up of your ring now. You don't need to hold this. Just put your hand on his powerful chest right there. <laughs> okay, hold on. <laughs> okay, I don't want to pull too hard right there. Come on, right there. Really Alright, put your hand right there. Look at each other, yeah? Okay, that's good. Yeah. Awesome. Let's get it quick before. I see. Hold like that, yeah. Look at your look at your look over there. Stay like that. That's good, that's good actually. Look at me, look at me. Yeah, that looks good. Look at your bou uh, bouquet. And then turn your body slightly towards me. And then and move your, right there, just look at me. So this wedding went on longer than this, but I wasn't recording GoPro footage for the reception part. So unfortunately, I won't be able to show you any of that. Uh, I am doing a better job trying to keep the GoPro on. I have a ton of video from different weddings that I'll show you. If you like to see what every wedding is like, how it's different, follow my channel. Subscribe. It'll, it'll be something you can watch if you're bored, if you want to learn, or if you simply want to see how somebody else does it, you know? So I would really appreciate that. Thank you so much, guys, and, and I hope to hear from you. Leave me some comments. Give me your Instagram. I want to follow you. With you, the sun is shining 24-7. Cause when we're together, it feels like we're in heaven. If it will get dark, you'll be my million stars. I know I can lean on you. Oh, you catch me like a leaf falling from a tree. If I be a shooting star, you make a wish. No, I don't fake this kind of feeling, never felt so real. My heart is on the table, cause you're my everything. I do, 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 I wanna marry you. Cause when you're around, I know it's true. Ooh, ooh, the way you make me feel is so good, baby. So good, so good. Every single day we spend apart, I wanna be with you. Baby, take my hand, hold it tight just like you do. Feel so good, so good. When I wake up in the morning and I see your face, I'm becoming blind by your dazzling grace. What a beautiful feeling to be close to you. There's nothing else I wanna do. Ooh, and from the fields of flowers, you chose to pick me. You're spreading sugar on my misery And I don't fake this kind of feeling Never felt so real My heart is on the table Cause you're my everything I do, 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 do I wanna marry you Cause when you're around I know it's true The way you make me feel is So good, baby So good, so good Every single day was found a part So good, baby. So good, so good.